If you take antibiotics before dental procedures due to cardiac problems, you need to speak to your doctor before being pierced. You may need to take the same measures for a piercing. This is one of the questions on your consent form. If you're pregnant, we won't be able to do your piercing, so please let us know. This is important. Certain health conditions like HIV, hepatitis, and diabetes may affect the healing of your piercing. You can indicate conditions like these on your consent form. Your privacy is guaranteed. We can speak in private if you prefer. Also, piercings have no medical application and offer no pain relief for any condition. Comfort is key to healing a new piercing, so when it comes to the clothes you wear, sleeping, exercise, and all other activities, always make sure your piercing doesn't become irritated as a result. Any activity in clothing should be fine, as long as it's comfortable. Things that cause irritation are complicating the healing process. For the initial healing time of about three months, for most piercings, and maybe for the lifetime of your piercing, it's important to have good habits that allow it to heal and stay healthy. We suggest not touching your piercing with dirty fingers, and always wear high-quality jewelry that fits properly. Always rinse your piercings off thoroughly with water at the end of your shower to make sure soap products are completely removed. And for oral piercings, rinse well after brushing your teeth or using mouthwash. Jewelry moves as the body moves, but we suggest never spinning, shifting, or rotating jewelry in a new piercing on purpose. Extra friction can only slow the healing time down and may cause scarring. Piercings can heal slowly or scar anyway. Intentionally spinning your jewelry can make that worse. Having patience is important. Any new piercing may bleed, swell, be red, irritated, inflamed, tender, or even bruise. These conditions are the strongest for the first three to seven days, and mostly gone in about two weeks. Oftentimes, saline products can soothe the irritations of a fresh piercing. If you can safely take them, ibuprofen and naproxen are popular pain relievers and anti-inflammatories that may help with discomfort and reduce swelling. Ice packs can also help with inflammation and swelling. With oral, facial, and ear piercings, consider keeping your head elevated when you sleep by using extra pillows. Most of the swelling and bleeding you have may happen overnight while you're lying down. Everyone knows piercings need to be cleaned regularly. Dried blood, discharge material, and dead skin can build up around the jewelry and piercing. This debris always needs to be removed, and it's important to use products the way intended by their manufacturer. Nothing you have at home in your medicine cabinet or first aid kit or on the shelf at the pharmacy is likely to have body piercing instructions on the label. This means you should avoid the common things you're familiar with, like antibacterial soap, peroxide, neosporin, alcohol, bactine, and other similar products. Your piercer will tell you when there's an exception. For basic cleaning, we suggest using plain water or specially made saline products. Anytime and every time there's dried material on the piercing, just moisten it to remove it. Also, take a shower like normal, but remember, your soaps, shampoos, and other cleaning products are not good for your piercing, so rinse your piercing thoroughly with water at the end of your shower. In addition to soap and antiseptic products, there are some other things to avoid with your new piercing. Cosmetic products like makeup, hair products, and lotions can really cause problems. Bodies of water like lakes and pools can also be risky, so keep your piercing out of the water during the healing time the best you can. Your piercer can talk to you about this if you have questions.
At New Flower Studio, we have several aftercare products made by piercing companies that are perfect if you prefer to use speciality items. We offer great soaps made for piercing. You would apply only a small amount of soap and gently massage the area around your piercing. Use them at the end of your shower and rinse thoroughly with plain water. Do not intentionally work soap into your piercing. Saline sprays are very gentle and convenient to have when healing. They're great in the first couple of weeks of a piercing to relieve the expected irritation and discomfort and can still be used long-term while healing. They can be used as needed and don't require rinsing off. However, if you feel the skin around your piercing is becoming dry, use less often or rinse with plain water a few minutes after application. We also have saline wipes our clients love. They're convenient and can be used to safely remove dried material that collects around a piercing. Vitamin C and zinc are important nutrients for healing and immune system support. If you don't already take a supplement, we have something perfect to use during the healing time. For oral piercings, we have an antimicrobial and alcohol-free mouthwash. Thanks again for letting us do your piercing at New Flower Studio. If you have any questions or concerns, make sure you come back in so we can take a look at your piercing. We hope you have the most unique experience possible in a piercing studio. New Flower Studio